you're here because you probably freeze a lot. And this, this happens to non-native speakers a lot. You probably feel frustrated that you know what you want to say, but you can't find the right words in the moment. And so this is something unique to the executive presence and leadership communication training for non-native speakers. Because the reason that this happens to you is different than it would to a native speaker. And that's why I do this kind of training, because when the root of the problem is different, the solution in the training, I believe, should also be different. Another reason you're probably here is because you wish you could express yourself as naturally as your colleagues. This can happen to you at any level of your professional journey. There's always going to be someone with better English than you, whether it's because you work with native speakers or maybe non-native speakers who've had different, better, more training than you in terms of English communication. And that can be oh, really disappointing, especially because if you follow me, if you're here, you're probably a high achiever, you're probably a perfectionist. And so to constantly be reminded that you could or should be better can be very disappointing and demoralizing for your type of personality. But that's something that's really important in terms of the training that you receive, because to increase your executive presence and improve your leadership communication, you have to address these mindset blocks, these mindset issues, and find a way to have a more productive mindset in order to see the improvement that you need. Now, another reason that you're probably here is because you want people to understand you clearly. This is a struggle that non-native speakers face. Unfortunately, your, again, your heart's in the right place. You want to be understood clearly. What I find with my clients and with the people that I coach is that the way that you do it is not productive. In order for you to be understood clearly, you over explain. You sometimes this also translates into wanting to avoid people noticing your mistakes. So you might speak faster and thinking that sounds more natural, more like a native speaker, but it actually causes more confusion. So again, this is something unique to your journey in leadership and business English. And so this is something that requires a different kind of training. And you're also here because you wish you sounded as professional in English as you do in your native language. And that's a really big frustration that I feel, I keep saying this because this is why I'm here. It's unique to your experience. A lot of times with leadership communication for native speakers, it's more about the strategy or more about the theory. The reason I have this program and I do these trainings is because a lot of times what I find with the people that I coach is you're already a strong leader. Like you have the concepts, you have the knowledge and the theory from your experience in your native language, but it doesn't translate effectively when you're working with Americans. And that can have a lot to do with cultural communication, intercultural communication issues that you might not even know. There are certain things you might be doing because it's intrinsically part of your cultural communication that you don't realize are hurting your business communication in English. And if you don't know what the problem is, you won't find the right solution. So that's why I'm here. Now, a really good thing, hopefully this makes you feel uh, a little relief, is that you're not alone. I have worked with leaders and directors and executives at some of the top companies in the world. These are just a few that I'm putting up on the screen. And they are experiencing what we're going to talk about today. The issues that you are going through, I don't want you to feel, it can be very isolating when you feel like, am I the only one who's going through this? Everybody else is better than me. But I really want to show you that I've been doing this for almost 20 years. I work with some of the best companies in the world, some of the most brilliant minds in the world, in my opinion. And they're having the same insecurities that you're dealing with. So not only is there a solution, not only will there be a way out and up, but other people have gone through this and it's going to be okay. So this is a three-month program. And the three sections that we focus on are building your executive presence, which really means understanding how to be confident in English. And then effective communication training. Now, we have some general topics, but really it's about you. Everything I do is bespoke, even though there's a group component to it, or if you choose a group program, there's also times when I coach you individually, and it's about what are you communicating? Some people are in the program because they want to be better presenters and do public speaking. Other people are in the program because they have to present to their team, and they really need action being taken. So whatever your reason is, 
there's always a moment where we make sure it's you, the communication you need, not general, not theory. And last but not least, building trust and increasing impact, because that's what connection is. A lot of people get resistant when we talk about networking or building network. But if you do it in a way that's true to you, if you build trust in a way that's authentic to, to your goals and your, your heart, then you're going to do it with so much, so much more confidence. And so that's really important to me. And also how to not be afraid of opportunities. So many people are afraid of LinkedIn because they're afraid of the English, but I'm going to be there to push you and to show you how to do it correctly. So you know that the quality of your work is good, but also authentically. And these are some of the components of the program. You're going to get bespoke coaching. Again, it's not just theory. It's about what you need. These are three intensive months. So I want to make sure that you get everything to make sure that you elevate your leadership communication. Accountability is a big part. I'm not going to let you sneak away and not do it. This is about making sure you get results. There's a checklist. There's a program. There's a, there's a note document that you get where you fill in things when you watch the trainings. I go in there and I look at them and I see what you're writing and I help you extrapolate the value even more. And then on-demand virtual resources, it's a lot of flexibility. There are certain things that we do at certain times, but other components of it are really there to fit your schedule. Maybe. Professional feedback, this is what I'm there for. You're not just learning and doing because then if you do it and you don't get feedback, you don't know if you're improving. Like you're probably improving a little bit, but you're not getting the most out of it. So everything that we do, I'm there to break it down, analyze it, and give you not only feedback, but also how to improve it. It's not just like you did this wrong. It's this is not as effective. This is how you can do it. This is how you train that. Curated learning experience. I'm taking 20 years of experience and putting it into really concise three months where I know you're going to get what you need. An accelerated growth plan. Like I said before, everything I do builds on each other because I want exponential growth. So this is something that I also, when you leave the program, you leave with the skills and the habits and the resources to continue growing. Now, the results that you're going to feel, oh, so good. I get so excited. With this program, you're going to feel more confident and assertive. And assertive is really important because you work in high pressure situations. If someone's being rude, I'll teach you how to deal with those moments, the language that you need, and how to maintain your professionalism. It's the confidence that you don't have to know everything but you know you can deal with anything. The other result is to think faster and express yourself concisely. You, through this program, it really is a lot about, it's about training how you process information so that you're more efficient. You're able to come up with what you wanna say faster with less anxiety, less pressure, and then find the most, get to the point first, right? Like find the most effective way to communicate it. You're gonna connect with people authentically. This is so rewarding because English is a global language and yet you're limiting the amount of people that you're connecting with because of certain fears and insecurities or maybe just a lack of skills. So now you're going to be able to go to conferences and not just attend them, you're going to make connections. This was fantastic. I had a client who just, his company wanted to send them to the US and to Spain for conferences, but he just kept saying no because he knew it was all in English. And after our training, he said yes more, and which is the last thing here. And he started going to these conferences. And so we were trained really hard on how do you connect with people naturally? How do you have these conversations? And now he's made friendships in his industry from all over the world. And that's led to just not only good business connections, but this is long term, right? You never know when you're going to need something or somebody else might. This is when maybe you're looking for a job one day or you're not getting the promotion that you want. Somebody else might have an opportunity for you. It's And now he looks forward to going to these conferences every year because he knows people and he's not afraid of meeting new people. So it's it's really just a game changer. And then you're also going to lead more effectively. When you don't have the language and you're over explaining, it can cause confusion. It can cause doubt in your expertise. You're not going to get the results you need for your company. So this is going to help you also increase your leadership skills and saying yes. Think of how many times you say no. If someone says post more on LinkedIn, you're like, no. If someone says, I want you to be on a podcast. Ooh, no. I want to interview you on, on a network. Mm -mm. I want you, you know, you should go to this conference or you should present at this conference. And you're like, no, I'm too busy. All of these things that you're saying no to, you're going to have the confidence to say yes to. 
And this is something that I love also with the program is a lot of it's individual assignments so that if you know that you want to, for example, be on a podcast, I'll help you train that. I'll find the questions for you to train, have you practice, give you feedback. If you know you want to present at a conference, then you use the program and through those moments where I give you personal feedback, let's let's do your conference speech. Let's get that together. Let's practice it, get feedback. So these are moments where you're going to learn a lot of leadership communication, but it's also going to tie into the goals that you have. And that makes it so much more valuable. Learn how to do business in the US or how to do business with Americans or using American English. It's a big deal. The impacts are so worth it. So when you're thinking about making that investment, you want to think about, well, what does this yield? You know, this investment now is going to allow me a very lucrative future and being able to take advantage of opportunities and make more money. Because at the end of the day, leadership, you're not just doing it for mentoring for goodwill. That's mentorship. When you're a leader, it's also about creating revenue. It's about success, financial success, professional success. And this is what this kind of training is for. If you've tried courses, books, and programs, you've probably already spent money on resources. So you want to think about what has worked for you and what hasn't. And if that hasn't worked for you, or I find most people that come to me have tried these things and it just hasn't pushed them far enough, didn't give them that extra step. And a lot of times it's because it wasn't that combination of business and leadership and English communication strategy. And so, you know, I always feel like I take money very seriously. You want to be cautious about where you invest. So you want to make sure that it's something that works for you. So speaking of cost, what is this costing you? If you're constantly anxious, that affects your mental health. If you're waking, I mean, I've worked with people who, I remember I had a client who had just gotten a promotion from a being an executive at a, in her native language, and then the company merged. And so now she had this C-suite position for the global version of the company. And she had to present to the executive board in English. The amount of anxiety that caused her, waking up anxious, having a hard time sleeping because of the anxiety and fear, just feeling that, you know, like sickness. And through the training, seeing her be able to sleep better and the better you sleep, then you wake up and you're able to kind of work through that and feel less anxious. Knowing that she didn't have that fear anymore was a huge change in quality of life. Effective leadership. What is this costing you? If you're not an effective leader, how many thousands or millions of dollars is that costing your company? If you're not growing your business the way that you need to, let's say I, I do work with a lot of people who are in that transition phase, phase where the companies have gone global or they're expanding. If you're not, if you're in a leadership position and you're not being effective, you're costing your company millions. And that, again, you want to think about the investment versus the, the consequence of not doing it. And then career growth. Are you keeping your career small? Are you not getting the promotions that you want? Are you not open to other opportunities? You know, are you not being the voice in your field because your voice in English causes you fear? Are you avoiding going to conferences and presenting and really sharing your knowledge with the world and being that person that I believe you deserve to be and, and sharing your knowledge because you're nervous? Now, this is not a program for everyone. Um, not only that, but I don't take everyone. There is an application process. It's very selective. I try to keep this program small so that everybody gets really high quality attention. So this is not for you if you just want to learn and you don't want to implement solutions. And what I mean by that is uh, a lot of people are really comfortable with just learning. You want theory, you want knowledge, you want memorization. This program is not that at all. It is all about action, getting you to speak. Like the assignments that I talk about, the submissions, they're not written. None of this is about how much you know. It's literally like record yourself giving your presentation and send it to me. Record yourself having this conversation, record your meeting. I want to see you in action so that I can help you speak better. So this is not for you if you just want more information. This is also not for you if you don't want personal actionable feedback. Some people don't take feedback well. If you don't like being critiqued, if you don't like being told specifically what you're not doing effectively and how to do it better, then don't join, don't even apply. Because a big part of this, I'm very direct. I'm very, you know, ask anybody who's worked with me, I'm going to hone in on what the weakness is and then give you feedback 
strategy, practice, and we're going to work through it. That means a certain level of vulnerability and a certain level of being okay with me, with, with your ego being hurt a little bit. But the benefit is you'll become a better version of yourself. But again, that's not for everyone. If that's not the style that you like, this is not the program for you. And if you're too busy to do the work, I don't want you to apply for this program and get in and then not show up. I don't want you to apply, get in, and then not do the, the work because if you don't get results, then there's no point. So it does take a certain amount of dedication. If you're too busy, then this is not the moment for you. When you're willing to make that time, and again, this is also a flexible program. We make it work with you. But if you're just not in that mindset yet, that's okay. Not for you. Now, this is for you if you're ready to look, feel, and sound confident in English. If you're frustrated, if you know you could be better, but you don't know how to be better. Because at this point, you're already at a high level. So it, that can be frustrating because when your English is good, if you go to English teachers, they'll tell you like, oh, yeah, like your level is good enough. Like you're fine. That's where the communication coaching is different than English teaching. And so this is that next level. This is for you if you're ready to work smarter and not harder. And what I mean by that, something that's really serious, I'm going to make myself full screen. When you're in this three-month program, for those three months, I don't want you to use any other resources. I had a client from the, the last cohort ask me, like, should I also like watch other YouTube videos? Should I watch your other videos? Should I do other, like all the other things that you have available? I said, no. For these three months, you're only going to use the videos that I give you. And even then, there's like a whole set of pronunciation videos. You're not going to do all of them. You're only going to do the ones that I think are good for you and beneficial. This is about working smarter, not harder. It's not about being overwhelmed with all the resources. It's very much do what I tell you when I tell you, and we're going to do this well. And this is also for you if you want results fast. You know, this program could be a year, but I really want you to get the results and feel confident sooner. So this is three months. Every week, you're going to feel better about yourself. Every week, like I said, everything builds on each other on itself. So if you want that, if you're ready for that, this is for you. Now, this is what the path looks like. So when you sign up, when you apply, if you make it into the program, if you're selected, we have a strategy session. We go through all the different pillars of the program. And the goal is to lead confidently in English. But the first step before you get to all this is to apply at tanyasuarez.com slash leadership. 